Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of Skyblock Ultimate and as you can see I've advanced a little bit from last episode. You've already seen a little bit but I'm going to show you in a second. But um, yeah, just I've advanced a lot. Oh, I, I thought I had like something to say but not really. Skyblock Ultimate on Nirvana MC. So since last episode I've tried to record another one episode I tried to record episode two twice and this is the second time the first time I really didn't have anything to do that would be interesting on camera so I just did all of this off camera so after we put the villagers in this beauteous iron farm um, we can get straight into doing all the fun stuff like I don't know, holding some sort of event or something with all these beautiful people. But yes, the first part of this episode is just going to be putting the villagers in here, which, um, yeah, I'll cut to when I finish them or if something bugs out or something, but I don't think it will, but it might. It might very well do that. Oh yeah, and just for authentication, this is all my stuff for setting up the iron farm. As you can see, I'm a Five Nights at Freddy's fan. No shame. No shame whatsoever. Okay, quick um, detour from the villagers. Look at this. This um, guy over here sells pumpkins from like this automatic farm um, that he built, which is really cool. Um, he made this. And there it goes, it's working. Where, where it slides all the way over here into the hoppers and into the chests. And you can sell a stack of pumpkins for 16 bucks. But for 30 bucks, you can buy four stacks. So that is an amazing way to make money. I can't believe people are doing this. This is amazing. And this guy's showing me how to do it. And after that, you go to Warp Secret Shop. Which is warp secret shop. Then you wait for the three seconds and you don't move. I moved, but it still worked. Um, and then you go in here and then you sell the four stacks for $16 each and you just like doubled the money you spent. So that's, a, that's an amazing way to make money. So thank you to um, the guy who was s selling it, which... I'll go check his name in a second. But thank you to... G Golving Sun? Yes. Yes, I did make money. Oh yeah, and it's this guy's island. Brian Jushy? VIP Plus. So he's a donor to the server like me. Okay, so that's the first compartment done. The first five. Which, here we have Chica, Foxy, Balloon Boy... Bonnie, and little endoskeleton. I don't know why it's a baby villager, but it is. It's endoskeleton. Okay, I know this episode has been kind of all over the place, but, um, this, um, Sussy? Sussy0926 has, um, requested a trade. Um, so I have the gold. So we are going to slash trade... And, um, she's gonna give me two diamonds for nine gold. So that's really cool. Even though I have enough diamonds, um, diamonds are always good. And I don't need, really need the gold. So, trades and good things galore in this episode. Okay, see you this time for real when I am done with the farm. For real. This time. Thank you, Sussy. Did I ever mention how annoying it is to name tag adult villagers? Okay, we are done and we have um, the puppet, the, the puppet, Freddy, and um, Springtrap and, Sp oh, and, and Jummy's best mate. But Springtrap is the best because he is a farmer, which is amazing for Skyblock. So yeah, we finished the iron farm, and now all we have to do is wait for the iron golems to spawn. 
also, as you might have noticed in the intro, um, we have the nether now, which, um, typically you would have to do this huge challenge for. I don't remember what it was. I think it's, like, get your island level up, but, um, I just bought it because that's kind of smarter. So, um, I did that, and now I have the nether. And there were spawners here, and I have them in my private vault, as you probably saw before. Let's see, I'm probably going to go do some fun stuff with, um, some people on here, show you a couple more things, and then I'll end off this episode. So, let's go to those things. Hi, pig. Hi, pig. Kind of obscure, but, um, a lot of times, people on this server ask for eggs for this one challenge of making pie and cake. Which, um, would seem useless to get a chicken because I have a farmer villager. But, um, most people can't fly and, like, get up there. So I'm going to sell the eggs that this chicken lays. So kind of obscure but still a thing to do and I also wanted to show you guys an island that greatly helped me get to where I am now with the iron farm and stuff and the guy owner of this island of this amazing island I might add look at this thing and it's all of its glory um this is the owner of it fusion fall mr. troll himself so there he is but um what, how he helped me get to where I am is not only does he have this shop, which is a bit more expensive than the other one I showed you, but it's like more efficient, so it's in stock more and restocks faster, and it's automatic, so that's really cool. Um, but I, I bought these, and then I went up here and traded with his farmer in here, which I'm pretty sure he allowed. If he didn't, I'm sorry. I think you're watching this video. If you're not, well, sorry anyway. So for right now, I'm just going to keep farming these pumpkins and getting money. And either this episode or next episode, probably this episode, I'll set up one or two. But I'm going to set up spawners so that we can earn money even faster. Because that's kind of the point of Skyblock and advancing. So yeah, I'll see you in a minute or two. So I'm going to set up a couple of skeleton spawners, and then we will end off this episode. Oh yeah, and mob griefing is, mob griefing is off, so if I just let this creeper blow up, it doesn't blow up anything but damaged mobs. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to place down these spawners, like here and here, and see, it's already working. Actually, I probably shouldn't have placed those down. Well, I'll fix this up and um, just have some new stuff for you next episode. Bye. Ow.